Hey guys, welcome back. It is finally here. The Springboks are playing their first game since 2019. I am very excited for one. I know you are as well. Let's not waste too much time. It is the Springboks versus Georgia this weekend. It's being played 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. on Friday night in Pretoria. It's a big game because the Springboks need to prepare for the British and Irish Lions. They have already started preparing. They played their first game against Japan. So the box are a little bit behind. Looking at the two teams, I need to put a little bit of a disclaimer ahead of this. That I don't know too much of the Georgians. I just know a lot of their players play in France. And then I caught a little bit of highlights of them as well. I tried to study up on them during the last couple of weeks. But that's about it. Getting into the two teams, the front row, there's a, two surprises there for the Springboks. They have Nche and Niakane at number one and three, not starting with Kutsov and Malaiva as expected. They are probably trying to see what Nche and Niakane can do as the two backup props, especially Nche, because Kutsov, he is the incumbent number one now with Beast being out of international rugby. He's not playing since the World Cup anymore, so... Kitsov is number one. Nche will probably need to add to his one cap he has played to, for the Springboks to actually prepare for that role that he's going to play now. Mbunambi, he has a big game. He's playing against Brekvadze, who is a very experienced player for Georgia. He has played 66 caps. He also has played in South Africa a couple of times. He used to play for the Sunwolves as well. Uh, the two props for the Georgians, they have respectively both of them about 20 caps. So... Not too much, but Niakane and Chen not too much on their side either. Then we get to the two second rows, Etzebeth and Mostert. Mostert coming in at that number five role. It's still a discussion who's going to be there. Um, it's a discussion between Luat, Mostert, even Archie Sneiman, who's going to be the number five position. Mostert being chosen this time around because Luat Jager and Archie Sneiman, both of them being injured still at this stage. For the Georgians, they have Makao Dadze, I think that's how you pronounce it, 67 caps to his name, pretty experienced there in the, in the second row for them, they'll need it there because it's a big second row to go up against with the Springboks. That type, type 5 of the Georgians is known for being very good at scrumming and that is going to be something they want to build on in this game as well. But if they want to win this game, that's not what they're going to just rely on, it's no way they're going to win it. If they can just rely on their props and their hookers. So getting into the loose forwards. The Georgians have quite a mobile and quick back row that they picked in this one. The Springboks probably not as much except for Quaha Smith. He's probably that quick mobile number 8 that the Springboks haven't had for quite a while. We usually have a big barnstorming runner at number 8. Quaha Smith he is a tough guy to get down though at number 8. He's very quick. He's been doing his thing in Japan. At number six, Sia Kulisi, he continues as the captain for the Springboks. Peter Steftetue, World Player of the Year, he is still fighting back from his injury. He's played a couple of games now for the Stormers uh, since returning from his injury. Then getting to the number nines, it is a very experienced number nine for the Georgians. 58 caps to his name. Against Reinach, I'm very excited to see what Reinach does to for the side. I think that was always going to be the choice with the four number nines they do have. Faf arrived late then Herschel Yankees missed a little bit of uh, training time because of that COVID scare he was cleared now as well Nohamba he's still a debutant so Reinach will always have started this game and he is very quick off of the mark and the Georgians will have to look at him for sniping those uh, from the ruck and from the scrum because he can always get through and score his own tries He is in a partnership with his Montpellier teammate Pollard They haven't played too many games together since Pollard's injury to his ACL and COVID and everything But they have kind of built a big friendship over this last couple of years or this last year and a half So that's a big combo for South Africa moving forward For the number 10 position for the Georgians he has a big task going up against Pollard He's also not too experienced at number 10 for the Georgians, so big game for them. At number 12, there's experience versus experience. 77 caps for Sharikadze, the captain for the Georgians in number 12. Double World Cup winner Franz Stein at number 12 with his massive boot. Will want to show what he can do at number 12. That's probably still because Damien de Allende is still coming back from that burn wounds. 
uh, Jesse Creel, he's at number 13. No other real choices there. Um was in close contact along with Mapimpi uh, to Nkosi, who is out due to COVID. So both of them are self-isolating. Uh, so Creel, he gets his shot at number 13. Big game for him because he's always been neck and neck with Um. Then at the two wings, it's two debutants for the Springboks and it's big game for Speckman especially. Making his debut for the Springboks at 32 years of age, I'm very excited to see another 7 star coming through in this game. Fassi, he's at number 11. We all know him as a fullback, not too much as 11, but there weren't real choices for the Springboks with Colby only arriving recently to the squad. Uh, Mapimpi also not being part of the squad with the self-isolation so Fassi he's at 11 big game for him for the Georgians they have Tabladze at number 11 he's actually a center don't know him too much as an 11 but they do have a few guys that is at the back three only three guys accompanied the team that plays in the back three so injuries there will be detrimental to their side Vili Leru, we all know what he can do the second playmaker of the team the guy that makes a lot of our tries as well up against Nini Ashvili, um, he's the only 15 that is accompanying the team as well. But number 15 and 14, both of them are prolific try scorers, just like the prolific try scorers the Springboks have on their wingers. On the two benches, the box say goodbye to the bomb squad. It's a 5 3 split, three backs this time around, while the Georgians, they do go with a 6 2 split. Well, you'll see uh, Spander Ashvili at number 23, he is a loose forward. Malcolm Marks, Steven Kitsov, Ma Malarba at number 18. That is a big front pack to bring on and that's going to be very tough for the Georgians to face. But that's something that they love is the scrum time. So the front row for the Georgians, not too bad either. Number 18, he is on his debut, but I have been told to look out for the guy. Marvin Ori is at number 19 for the lock cover. Like I said, there's a lot of injuries at the locks for the Springboks with Luat and Arche. Uh, still fighting back from their injuries. Jasper Visa at number 20 making his debut as well. He's made a big name for himself in the UK this last year and fought himself into the squad. Herschel Yankees, like you can see, he's in the squad. He's been cleared from COVID. Alton Yankees also at number 22. The experienced fly half for the Springboks. And then Damien Willem say he plays a utility role. Probably covering fullback slash fly half. Don't think really fly half. Maybe centers. We might see Yankees slot into the centers as well since there isn't actually any other center coverage with Um and Damien de Allende both not being available for this game. Guys, getting into the prediction of this game, it's in Pretoria, it is in the high felt, so the altitude might play a big role for the Georgians. I do think the Springboks do have the edge here. A lot of the Georgians I do see on Facebook do wish their team luck and just hope for the best but i do think the springboks do have a task at hand especially in the front pack as well georgia they are ranked at 12th which is better than italy so you can't really expect an italy type of scoreline i think the springboks are having their first game now in a couple of years you can't expect them to be at their best as well so i think the springboks to win this one maybe by 17 points let me know your prediction down in the comments below also check out these videos next to me hit the subscribe button if you do like the channel and want to see more videos for the Springboks Lions Tour. And then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.